Hey hackers, how we doing? Um, for those of you who are on the Discord, join the Discord links in the description. You would know what's been going on for the past couple of. Oh wow, it is really weird thumbnail. Um, that's not the right thumbnail, but you know what? Can we change that thumbnail? Let me actually change that thumbnail because that thumbnail's not right. Anyways, I'm going to just kind of stall for a second um, until I change that thumbnail. Um, but yeah, so. Super weird. Hold up. SD Studio. Da da da. We're changing the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll kind of just talk for a second while I do this. Um, so, if you guys have been on the channel and stuff for a little bit, you guys would know about. Um... Sorry, I'm so like distraught right now. Um, what was I trying to say? You know what? I don't think people will mind the random thumbnail. That's fine. I'll change it later. You know how it is. Uh, cancel here. Um, yeah, if you're like, Chris, why, or Cosmo, whoever you want to call me, why are your transitions so weird? Why is everything so, um, yeah, basically, <laughs> I may have accidentally, like, um, uh, BJ Wright. Yeah, so let's go on my YouTube channel. Um, you may notice my bookmarks are gone and all this other stuff. So if you read the title of this video, um, then you would probably know by now. I mean, obviously I'm streaming right now, so the, you know, the title of the video um, isn't necessarily accurate. Here, let me do a copy link. There you go. Um, whoops, yeah. Um, so let's write bash. All right, so there you go. So at, oh my gosh, escape, escape. At everyone, um, we'll just say, we'll do a little red circle and then let them know that, hey, live on YouTube. And then uh, there you go. Um, yeah, so we can do, um, post to the announcements. There you go. All right. So now that the discord has been pinned that I'm streaming, I'll just let them know it. Ignore the thumbnail. All right, cool. So now that you got your guy, your boy is done stalling i'm so sorry um yeah so basically what happened is i was doing some courses and stuff and i was like it would be actually kind of convenient if i had another windows like a uh, hardware windows um laptop right because i do have a uh, so i do have this old one right you might remember this from like the death set of video from like uh last whatever um, but yeah, so basically what happened is that, um, I'm so distraught. I really am. Hold up. I can't even see the chat. There you go. I can see the chat now. Um, yeah. So I wiped like my entire Linux computer by accident. Um, <laughs> and now I had to like kind of restart from scratch because I was trying to partition it so I can have a windows dual boot. But what I ended up doing was um partitioning part of the home directory and that ended up corrupting it somehow and so i had to so i tried to reinstall linux didn't work all this other stuff so i reinstalled windows partitioned it and then reinstalled linux so now i have a dual boot which is cool um but yeah i just wanted a hardware windows computer so that way i can test hack 5 gear more easily so i can do like USB drives because I don't know the virtual machines kind of take a lot second and it's kind of hard to test things like the bash bunny that always had different types of emulation and all this other stuff so I figured hey let's just have a hardware one that we can test it out on and I was like oh I don't want to keep swapping swapping between two different laptops especially with me recording all the time it's just easy to have one laptop now we just have one singular laptop dual boot so mission accomplished I guess um I did lose a lot of data luckily for me I do have a home server that I back up my data to. So most of my files are still good. I just lost footage and then I lost um, 
files from a new project I was working on. Um, but not too bad. So, you know. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do now is uh, customize my operating system for like the fourth time on this channel. Um, here, oh, this is what I do, open this. Um, yeah, let me move Discord over there and then let me get my other thing right here. Yeah, cool. Um, and we'll put this there, cool. All right, so yeah, so if we go on my YouTube channel, right, and we search for um, Parrot, you can see this is the video where I installed, showed you how to install Parrot OS. This is a video of my desktop tour for Parrot OS. And then these are me customizing Parrot OS on the channel. You can see I did it once and then I did it again. And now we're doing it for the third time um, on top of the two other videos of me customizing Parrot. Um, yeah, yeah, fun, fun, fun. Um, I guess there's no good way to start it, but just to kind of start, I do have a build file on my Obsidian. So if I go to uh, Parrot build, there you go. I just have like instructions on how I kind of like built everything. Uh, I do have some like installations and things on how to like do certain things. So I'll kind of just have this open in the background. I'll put it on my GitHub eventually. Um, but until then, I guess we should actually finally, 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 finally get started. Um, here, I'll close Discord for now. And then, um, yeah, cool. Let's get started. Um, how do we get started? That's a great question. Uh, <laughs> we had to open up the control center and actually do a lot of these settings. Um, so let's start with the login window, obviously. Cool. Um, so I kind of have like, yeah, these like instructions, you'll see like how I set up the back. Oh Lord. So I set up the background and then like I set the specific themes and all that other stuff. If you'd like me to put that on, like on a, I don't know, something like GitHub, let me know. Uh, I can, I can probably do something like that. Um, here, I'll actually open this up in like the corner here. All right, hopefully that's good enough. All right, so um, yeah. So appearance, background, right, the background. Macaw Vaporwave. Oh yeah, so this is the background for our lock screen. That's the typical one I go for. We'll take a look at the new ones that they have for the lock screen, just be, just in case. We are going to get rid of that annoying little noise. I hate that noise. It's so annoying. Um, so <laughs> we'll find a way to fix that. Uh, any good lock screen? That's kind of tight. Um, the honestly, the C, the the NSA one is actually kind of hard. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, oh, they have the Hack the Box ones. I love Hack the Box. Hack the Box is awesome. I actually need to do some more Hack the Box uh, videos. I think um, I might go with the NSA one for now, honestly. I feel like that's kind of just hard. Um, honestly, let me copy the path to... Uh, here, can you copy the location? Because I always forget the location of the wallpapers. All right. Nope. Never mind. Never, never, never mind. Never mind. Um, oh wait, is it like, uh, Lord. All right. Never mind, bro. Never mind. Um, user share backgrounds. I can remember that. <laughs> uh, where's the NSA one though? What happened to NSA? No, go back. Let me find it. The girl's actually kind of hard too. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, we'll go with this one for now, and we can always change it. Uh, black, and then stretch the background across multiple monitors. Yes, it's up like a triple monitor setup. Draw user backgrounds. Yeah, sure. Draw grid. That's cool. Um, so themes. We have the GTK theme as Adwaita Dark. I don't even know how to say that. And then the icon theme is probably going to be my. Uh, 
and then yeah cursor breeze that's fine um settings for the panel indicator select all except for the host name oh yeah because i didn't want to just show my host name <laughs> fair 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 um i forgot how the cloth formats work um i would like to show like military time but i think that's already set up properly if it's not we'll fix it later um yeah <laughs> so we can close that uh, let me open this over here um You know, honestly, now that we're kind of in the whole thing, we can probably find a better wallpaper for this whole uh, thing. Yeah, let me find a better wallpaper. Or I can let the Discord know that we're doing something different. The third. I don't know how to spell third time. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, bro, what happened to my message? Dang. Stalling parrot for the third time. Cool. So let's continue on with our journey. We're going to need to move those like icons back to the right and all that other stuff. Um, cool. So users and groups change the profile picture. It's all, it's all we did change. I don't think you change it. Oh yeah. Don't you change it somewhere else? Uh, yeah, I think you changed it somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, cancel. Okay, close. Forget it. Forget it. Uh, keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, this is going to be um, a hassle. Oh, look at me! I put like all my favorite ones in there. I'm so I'm so cool. <laughs> is mod B? Yeah, that's already been. Yeah, uh, we're going to change our default terminal. Um, so we'll add one. We'll do calculator. And the command will be, oh, isn't it like mate calculator? And then, yeah, cancel, cancel, just forget it. Yeah, apply. All right, so then this is going to be um, alt home. Where's the home key? Alt home. There you go. So is that right? Mate calculator. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Um, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, cool. Um, what else do we have to add? Um, actually, we can move this over so that way it's just not in the way. Um, so the browser is Windows key B. So browser, that's going to be our default browser, which is Libre. Actually, we could do X, XDG tech open, right? And that opens the default browser, I think. Um, XDG tech open. All right, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> um, is that only for like a website? If we do like HTTPS colon slash slash cosmodiumcs.com. Oh, I think that only does it with uh, websites. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do Libre Wolf. I don't mind. I don't know if we needed a uh, Windows key B. There you go. I select like a new one. Pluma. And that's going to be what? Pluma. Apply. And then this key, I think it's just Alt N. I typically did, yeah. Um, the dictionary. I might swap these with Control Alt because those use less uh, 
those are like not as popular on like the keyboard. Uh, so dictionary is like mate, dictionary, I think, mate, dictionary. There you go. All right, cool. So that's what control alt s. Oh, alt s. So control alt s is really used for something. That's fine. Um, what's next? Um, encrypt pad. I actually don't even use that that often, so I might skip that. Nah, I mean we're here. I'm streaming. I may as well. Um, encrypt. Uh, encrypt pad. Is it encrypt tech pad or is it just encrypt pad? Encrypt tech pad. All right, it's one word. Yeah. Uh, cool. So it's just encrypt pad. There you go. And then that uses um, Alt E. Then we can add a new one, Terminator. Oh yeah, and that uses Alt T, right? Isn't there Alt T already on here somewhere? Yeah. So Terminator. Yeah, so we need to use Alt T, reassign. There you go. Uh, cool. So what's next? Kaja. And then that's just literally going to be Kaja Tech Home, I think. And then apply, and then Windows key E. There you go. All right, what's next? <laughs> kind of just going down the line. What are we doing over here? We are uh, recustomizing Paired OS because I lost my uh, operating system and everything because I was trying to do mods and shit. So, uh, Vim, I think that's really there. Yeah, actually, hold up. Let me not worry about that. Yeah. Bim, Couch, Terminator, Carpet. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the sound stuff. We can close this. Uh, no, close sound. Um, sound theme, no sounds. So now we should not hear that annoying little water drop noise that pisses me off. Um, close, cool. We can go to appearance. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts. Um, appearance. All right, so there's the custom theme initial. Let's just skip to the custom theme dark. So what are you doing? Uh, we are customizing Parrot. That's what we're doing. Here, I'll put it in the chat so people can see it. Okay, we are customizing Parrot OS for the third time on the channel. So how did we customize this last time, right? We had the custom one. So here, uh, we also should choose a cool background. Ah, oh wow, they got like some, some uh, weird looking ones. They got like uh, water drops and stuff. Very, very classy. There you go. We'll, we'll check out the we'll check out wallpapers later. Um, oh, they have like a lot of the mate stuff. That's actually kind of cool. Hang, 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 hang. Uh, let's go to. Uh, we can close this for now. I honestly don't care. We'll figure that out later. What we do need to figure out is the uh, appearance. Let me go back. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so I don't want because <laughs> um, of the initial. So how do we do this? Custom, customize, there you go. All right, so the controls, I want to be icy dark. Uh, the window border is um, arc dark. All right, and then icons are Maya as usual. I like the Maya ones. Oh, they have Windows 10. Can we make like a Windows 10 based looking one? Uh, pointer can stay breeze, e breezy, you know, it'd be, uh, and then the interface, 
select all. Oh, I see. Close. Oh, okay. Close. We'll save it as Cosmo Tech Dark. And then save it. And then the interface is all. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Um, cool. So what's next? Um Oh wait, hold up. We had a different one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Appearance, customize. So we did controls for high contrast. High contrast inverse. And then we did window border was dust blue. What'd that look like? Oh yeah, I remember this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, the icons were still Maya and the pointer were still Breeze. Okay, close. I can save as dark theme. I don't know. Save. <laughs> Cosmo dark. We can uh, delete. Where's my dark theme? Yes, close. Cool. Um, where, where else were we? Um, Why is the control center so like broken? Uh, control center. There you go. All right. So the main menu. Oh yeah, optimize me. We'll honestly do the main menu later. I think it's fine for now. Um, I don't think I need to change anything. With uh, the tweak. Yeah, where's tweak at? All right, cool. So the desktop, the show I desktop icons is false with the panel. Um, oh yeah, that's fine, honestly. And then we did the windows, right? So the appearance was right with the menu. Oh, perfect. All right, we're back to the normal, <laughs> to the more normal looking uh, aspect. It's cool. Pop-up notifications. How do we do that? Pop-up. We did, um, theme slider. How do we do this thing? Coco and then bottom left and then use active monitors preview. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. All right. So screensaver was a black screen. We'll just go with that. Oh, Cosmo. <laughs> Uh, no, but it's just blank screen. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Blank screen is cool. Uh, close. Cool. Um, wait, where were we? Screen saver, blank screen, windows. All right, cool. Windows. So general, enable software, and the position is right. And then behavior was Double click was to maximize. Yeah, that's cool. Movement key is alt. Yeah, cool. And then placement, center new windows. Yeah. I like when they center the window. That's cool. Maybe one the talent is true. Cool. All right. Uh, about me, personalized. Where's the about me? Oh, about me? Oh, is this where we change our... Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's go to uh, the interweb. Where, where can we find... Uh, Oh, uh, Lord. All right, hold up. We'll make a new tab. There you go. All right. So, mission point. Actually, hold up. Yeah, exclamation point G, Cosmo DMCS. Dang, sorry for the flashbang. I don't have any of my uh, tabs or anything like that. Cool. Uh, no, just search and step for Cosmo DMCS. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, we'll need this guy right here. Um, who's this guy? What a freaking nerd. <laughs> All right, so we can uh, save image as uh, planet tech cosmo dot png. All right, cool. We can close that and then we'll go to our downloads with planet cosmo dot png. There you go. Close. Um, Preferred applications, yeah, so. LibreWolf is kind of the vibe right now. <laughs> vibe is kind of the vibe right now. 
Uh, I actually just got vibe. It's actually like really cool. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Uh, image viewer, I have Mate is fine. Uh, VLC, VLC, and the system, Pluma, Terminator. There you go. And then Kaja, and then the calculator is calculator. That's fine. Office, a trill. This looks good. This looks good. And then accessibility. I have no idea what either of these are, but you know, I'm going to just go with it. Cool. Uh, close. And then startup applications. Do we want any of those? Actually, yeah, we'll keep, <laughs> we'll keep those up. Uh, yeah. Remember running applications and logging out? Uh, no, we'll, we're, we'll, we'll check that out eventually, but right now I'm good. All right, so system customization. Oh, this is the fun, more fun part. Um, here, I can minimize this terminal. Oh yeah, let's change this wallpaper while we're here. Uh, why can't I right click? Why is the right click not working? Hold up, let's go back into the settings because I still want the desktop to be right. For example. I don't want the, oh, can we do this instead? Yeah, get rid of the readme that lies. All right, yeah, let's do that. So that way, hey, there you go, cool. So change desktop. Um, I'm just looking at these. Oh, that's actually kind of hard, just like the little space stuff. I mean, I'm Cosmo, so, you know. Uh, I know this one's pretty popular. Uh, kind of hurts my eyes a little bit. Um, what was the one I used to have? I used to have a custom one. Oh, I know what I used to have. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's get the custom one I used to have. Um, here, Windows QB. Did I set that up to be Firefox? I don't think I did. <laughs> Hold up. Sh shortcuts. Mod 4B is the browser. No, I said, I meant to put Libre Wolf. There you go, close. Let's try this again, let's try this again. That's all right, that's right. Windows key B. There you go, cool. So now we can go ahead and um, go to cosmodiumcs.com. Um, while we're here, go to wallpapers. Yes, the newest one, Glitch in Cyberspace. Let's go. Add to cart. View cart. Check out. Uh, email for order confirmation. Um, we'll just use the company email. Company at cosmodiumcs.com. Feel free to email us. Um, first name is uh, Clark Kent. I don't know how to spell it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Continue. Cool. Place order. Download. All right. Save. Uh, cool. So let's um, close that. And then we can go to change desktop background. Um, add from our downloads, glitch in cyberspace. And there you go. Um, yeah, that looks cool. All right, so now that we have the uh, new one. What's up, Infinity? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Lord, so we can remove that from the panel. All right, so now we actually have to set up our panel. I'm not going to do the favorites menu yet simply because I don't have all of my applications that I want installed. Well, oh, oops. I didn't mean to hit the microphone, my bad. Uh, here, let me see. Yeah, we're going to keep, we're going to do a lot of changes and stuff, so we'll worry about that later. All right, so how we do the panels, top panel. All right, properties. So orientation is at the top. We have 26 pixels. Expand is true. Background is 
a solid color of black, I think, yeah. Um, we can do a little bit of transparency if we want to. There you go, like that. Background looks sweet. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then background style color, title setting color black. Um, what is it talking about? General this style opaque. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Never mind. All right, close. So remove this from the panel, 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 uh, remove that from the panel. Uh, we'll keep that in the panel, but we're going to move that to like the center. Here, let me do this. Let's open up some random application, full screen it, and then throw in the middle. So that way we can move this directly in the middle. There you go. And then we can uh, worry about that later. Cool. Um, so what else are we needing to do applications? So we have the menu. What menu do we typically use? Um, menu. So there's the advanced one. I don't like that one. I think the brisk one is the one we use. And yeah, there you go, like that. Um, there's the other ones too. There's like the compact menu. Um, I want to click it too much. Is that, oh yeah, there it is. It's right there. Can you change that picture? Hold up. If I could change that to the Cosmodium logo, that'd be like really cool. Um, edit. Yeah, no, I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, close. I mean, it's cool though. For the parrot logo in the background. Or do we want like... I don't know what menu I want. There's the advanced one too. But the advanced one is kind of like... It, I think it's glitchy. Like, it's it lags. Whoa! Like if I type hello, I swear this used to be like really slow. All right, I guess not as slow as it used to. Tree. Um, like I like it, but I feel like I remember this menu being like weirdly slow. All right, uh, close this for now. I think we'll go with this one for now, and then we can always change it later. Uh, remove from panel, remove from panel. All right, so the next thing I want to bring is, let's actually remove this from panel. So now I want to hit this. There you go, to the top. Um, what was the dock we used to do? It was a specific type of dock. Dock. Um... Was it an application of the dock for the Mate panel? Was it this one? See, I don't think it was. There was like a... Oh, no, that, that did it. Um, I didn't mean to... How many did I do? Whoops. No, not delete the panel. Remove from panel. Remove from panel. All right, let's try this again. Add to panel, dock, that one. Yeah, there you go. So now let's move this towards the end right there. There you go. Um, yeah, all right, cool. What other applications did we have on the dock? Uh, there's the clock that's in the mid middle. Then we had our system tray, and then we had things like the brightness, All right, and then shut down. And then we had the logout. And then we had the, um, the lock screen, yeah. Was that right? And then we had, I think we, we, yeah, we also had the clock in there too. Uh, oh no, not this clock, what's, uh, remove. We had the lock screen, but we had the the stop the stop clock, like the timer. Um, 
and then in the drawer drawer cool so let's move all of these so we can just move is this like locked into place locked apparently yeah i'll lock it and let's move that over there let's move this yeah customizing is like really boring honestly out it's not fun like in any way shape or form um let's move the shut down the computer one and then here i'll minimize this for now um just so that we don't accidentally close it and then move the lock and then we can move this uh drawer so with the drawer we can actually i know we can change the way this looks right properties you can change the icon to downloads planet cosmo there you go um cool so now we can actually open up <laughs> this um so with the drawer um do we have any like settings with it no connect to server sticky notes on force quit um cool all right so we can actually open this at the drawer and then we had um the connected server app the sticky notes app and then force quit because some apps be tripping there you go um yeah that's fine i think we also had um at the properties we also had some other application but i forgot what application it was it was um like the timer yeah this thing and then we had the um screenshot tool i think we added that up here yeah so if we do screenshot there you go and then the anon surf start and stop i had up here so we can add the start and then anon surf stop we had up here as well cool so let's move all of those into the right places i think with the timer we need to change the name so it doesn't show anything and then we'll make the default like 10 minutes i think a 10 minute default timer is good and then yeah cool so let's move all this other stuff so we can move the timer where did we have the timer like right before yeah and then we had the screenshot tool like right there there you go um and then we can move the play i'd say like right after yeah there you go so let's actually lock all these into place so lock lock um here we'll do this and then move this into the center cool and then we can lock this uh lock the panel there you go and then all of these individual ones so lock the panel lock the panel lock the panel oh my gosh this is gonna i forgot how long custom like organizing all this takes uh because i haven't done this in a minute actually uh, the last stream that i did this was like seven months ago i think about somewhere around there uh let me check some stuff real quick all right cool um what's next so we do that oh yeah we need to add the left panel so new panel yeah and then properties cool so this panel is going to be on the left side so if you guys ever wondered how i actually have that uh panel on the side uh let me know what's the panda's name uh the panda's name hold up that's a domino <laughs> I'll put in the chat cool um so yeah we can do the left side uh what's 55 pixels and then the auto hide is true we'll worry about the auto hide after uh and the background it's going to be doesn't really matter because it's just going to be transparent so there you go um close so 
what do we have over here at the panel? Um, we can do Libre Wolf, add that to the panel. Uh, Terminator. And then we had um, Kaja. And then VS Code. Um, Obsidian and VirtualBox. I don't have Obsidian or I have Obsidian here, but I don't have it like mapped yet. So we'll worry about that later. Um, so in the meantime, I'll just finish. Actually, well, we're here. Let me add at least Obsidian. Um, I mean, we could download both real life. We're here. We should, I should be being less lazy. All right, virtual box download. All right, um, Linux distributions. Uh, we'll just use Ubuntu because I mean, it should work anyways. Um, dev, save. All right, cool. While that's downloading, we should set up. Bro, I need Cosmo to customize my PC. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, Parrot's amazing, but I just don't like the default um, uh, thing that they have. So what was the other thing that we needed to do? Um, yeah, we need to add the uh, Parrot. So if you guys actually ever want to add stuff to your menu, there's the menu uh, thing in the actual settings. Um, what's this gonna be an office? So we can just do new item and then uh, name obsidian and then it's going to be obsidian and then comment is going to be mark down editor and then this can just go into home control h to view uh hidden stuff or obsidian and our obsidian.png there you go so we can hit okay and bruh reload no where's my no i did not do all that for nothing no 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 <laughs> where is uh application oh, we can do uh location uh application no obsidian i don't want you to quit on me um here we'll do this instead we'll do um c into home c into dot obsidian and then dot slash oh actually no c into home and then we can do dot slash obsid dot obsidian slash this yeah and then make this full screen and then copy i've been missing out on the chat no like domino in the game like black and white <laughs> yeah exactly uh brand new cosmo because my pc my pc looks terrible few few my Gmail got hacked. I recovered it. It shows like five threats. Ha hackers can't get hacked, man. You can't let that happen. You're lacking right now. Uh, let's make this our command. So that way we can just do markdown editor. All right. And then, of course, home. Where's Obsidian? Obsidian, where are you? All right. Attempt two. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Wait, wait, where is it? Yeah, there you go. Cool. So now what we can do is when we open up our menu and go into Office, Obsidian's there, and then we can just add it to the panel. There you go. All right. So last thing we need to do is um is uh the other one. <laughs> I forgot what's called. Downloads. Uh, we we'll just do Kaja, this current directory, VirtualBox. Just install the package. Install the package. Stop loading and install the error. What do you mean error? Dependency is not satisfiable. What do you mean? Uh. Uh. Fine. Would we'll, would we'll try something else. Um. 
Debian based distributions. Replace my dist with Ah <sighs> Lord. Uh for Debian eight Jesse for Ubuntu Zenio. How did I install it last time? I feel like this was like a lot easier than last time. Uh you had your email hacked many times? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Ubuntu. I mean, Ubuntu should work, but Debian. We can try Debian. See if that works. Where's uh this? Come on. Let's try Debian. Let's see if this one works. Aha, there you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it. Hey, you got it. I'm at close, I'm at close, I'm at close, I'm at close. This is kind of like the moment of truth right here. Come on, Virtual Box, you can do it. Just a little power to it. It rhymes, so you know it must be true. Damn, Virtual Box is taking its time. All right, we'll 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 let it do its thing. <laughs> uh, we can close that. Uh, dang. Okay. I'm just I'm just trying to. Here, we'll do the favorites while we wait. Uh, Libre, Wolf, into favorites menu. Ah. Did that finish? So if we search for virtual. Okay, maybe it hasn't updated yet. Um, here, close, 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 thank you. All right, so if we do virtual box, there you go. All right, cool, so we got virtual box. Cosma, are you doing uh, dual boot right now? Uh, yeah, the, the, um, kind of, yeah. I, I have Windows on there, but I'm not gonna use it. I just wanted to have one just so I could have it, but all of that work. <laughs> uh, uh, recently became a huge fan here on GitHub, slowly going way back through all your content. You're a natural, just remember to breathe. Oh yeah, I'd be talking way too quick. I am so, <laughs> I am so sorry. Yes, I will. Thank you and thank you. Um, yeah, my brain speaks faster than my mouth, so my mouth is just trying to catch up. Um, all right, so let's figure this out. Um, VirtualBox is downloaded, but um, it don't it don't want to pull up to the party. It don't like it's clearly downloaded. Like we have it, VirtualBox. Um, can I do it like this? No. Can I do it like this? No. Okay. All right. Um, well, we could add it to the menu, how we did it with, um, uh, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll not worry about it. <laughs> uh, don't expand it. There you go. And then auto hide it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's how you actually have the hidden menu like that. Uh, what we'll do is properties close. Uh, properties, yeah. So we'll expand it real quick without the auto hide, just so that we can organize it. So I want Libre at the top, probably, then Terminator, then that under. We we'll do that, and then that. There you go. Cool. Properties, and then do that. There you go. Cool. So if you guys ever wanted to have that hidden side menu, that's how you do it. Uh, but yeah. Cool. Um, we'll add VirtualBox later because VirtualBox doesn't, VirtualBox isn't hip anymore. Uh, what's next? <laughs> bottom panel? Um, yeah, so bottom panel, we can, uh, unlock from the panel. Here, uh, no, don't delete the panel. Just, how do you get rid of, the uh, remove from panel? There you go. And then, yeah, so these are the workspaces. We can keep the workspaces, honestly. We'll add three workspaces. I think that's a good number. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, cool. Uh, close. BRB, you can try Kimu. No. <laughs> no, <just kidding. laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, uh, I, I'm sure I could. Menu. What's the other menu? The one has the the classic menu. Is that is that this one? Yes, this one. Close. So we'll have this one, just in the bottom one. The all my menus auto hide except for the top one. So this one's gonna be at the bottom too. Um, I think that's actually all I have on both of these uh, panels. Lock to panel, and then we can lock this to the panel. Cool. So the last thing we need to do is keep it at the bottom. Do we change the pixels at all with this one? The bottom panel 24, yeah. Um, and then auto hide, we can do the background to be, oh, it doesn't matter because I just go full transparent. Yeah, close. So now, yeah, there you go. The only panel I have is at the top. Um, cool. So. Yeah, that, that's good. I have five workspaces usually. I only have three. Well, I don't, I don't think I ever use more than three, so that's fine. Uh, application appearances. All right, so we already did Terminator, I think. Yeah. All right, so we're done. There you go. Uh, I mean, I could end the stream here, but there's stuff I still need to do. Like, we can actually time to figure out the virtual box, please. Does it still need time to like refresh and all that? We can add the favorites, actually. Favorites menu. All right, yeah. So Libre is added. Here we can close that. Uh, what else do we need? Tor. Here we can minimize that. Cool. Tor. And then pin to favorites. Uh, Discord. Pin to favorites, and then. Um, What? <laughs> Kaja. There you go. Pin to favorites. Cosmo, you inspire me to start coding my own rat. And now it almost is done. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm glad you're doing it. I'm actually going to be rebuilding only rat. I'm going to make it better and more malicious. Uh, <laughs> so stay tuned for those streams because I've been learning. Some stuff in the background. I did lose like a lot of my files, but it's okay. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be redoing Only Rat. Uh, Only Rat was kind of like the trial run. Um, Kaja. Oh right, yeah. Terminator. But yeah, if you never need any help with like malware questions or anything like that, just DM me on Discord or join the Discord server and pay me. Um, Honestly, joining the on the rat too. I'm gonna change the name, but yeah, uh, I'm probably let you guys name it again because uh, it was really funny when I let you guys name the project. So, uh, Terminator vs Codium. Also, yeah, subscribe with the notifications on so you guys don't you guys you know get notified for that stream. Um. <laughs> Do you have a ghetto so I can recode it and make it more harmful? Crazy. <laughs> uh, VS Code. All right, so virtual box isn't here yet. Um, should we just add it manually? I think that's what we'll do, honestly. Um, do we have like a Windows key B? So can we just do like Alt D, um, Alt D, there you go. Virtual box logo PNG. Cool, perfect. Save image. Nope, 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 nope. Cancel. Save image as um, virtual box dot PNG. What we'll do is we'll go to here. We'll cd make directory dot virtual box cd to dot virtual box move um 
Oh yeah, we can't actually use that command. Uh, move home slash downloads and then the virtual box dot PNG. Lord, all the way to uh, <laughs> here. There you go. Um, so now what we can do is in here, if we go to our main menu, and then where's VirtualBox? Would that be in like programming? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can show Python. And then new item would do um, virtual box. The command is virtual box comment hypervisor. Oh, they have a virtual box icon already? Well, look at that. Well, look at that. Okay. There you go. So we can close that. Uh, what we can actually do now that we have that is uh, close this, close this. We can actually uh, see the out of here. Ah, out of here. About that virtual box. There you go. All right. So, um, yeah, we can actually properties. Nope. Close. Hold up. We got it. All right, there you go. So expand. Um, what I'm quickly going to do is, um, where's virtual box? Oh, so now it wants to add itself. Now it does. Guys, I am going to. <laughs> Lord, here, we'll add the actual virtual box. But after all that, I just added it and now it wants to add itself. That's crazy. Um, Cosmo, you should name the rat Mr. Ratted. <laughs> only Rat Jr. Oh, Only Rat Jr. is supposed to be more powerful, so might be Only Rat Senior. <laughs> Because um, with Only Rat was very much of a test, kind of like me getting the hang of building something like that. So, because um, with Only Rat, it's a local network, right? So it won't go outside the network or anything like that. Um, so I kind of want to test those skills and bring it up. Um, I'm kind of mad that that did that. Hold up, let's go back to programming and get rid of this, yes, delete. All right, that's fine, I'm not mad. As you now that we're here, we may as well quickly skim through all this. Um, just keep Firefox. We'll keep the profile manager too. Libre Wolf, Vibe is there, cool. Graphics looks good, that looks good. Games, there's like no games, but yeah. Uh, programming, that's good, so some tools. I honestly don't care. All right, yeah, that should be good looking. Um, virtual box. Yeah. So now we can properties and then no longer expand it. And yeah. So now what we can do is just lock these to the panel. There you go. So now that we have that hidden side menu, um, Oh yeah, we can actually finish our favorites menu. So we can do a uh, virtual box by pin to favorites menu. All right. Um, virtual box, Libre office, pin to favorites, um, obsidian, pin to favorites, uh, pluma, And then a crypt pad, I don't really need that. OBS. Uh, yeah, OBS Studio. Yeah, pin to favorites. And then um, I don't have Kid in Live or Minecraft or anything like that. So I should <laughs> download Minecraft on stream. Uh, last time I did open it up Minecraft on stream, I think the stream crashed. <laughs> it somehow survived it though, but it was just like super glitchy for a hot minute. Um, yeah, I think those are like the general applications. We can quickly get Kaden live if you guys just want to stay on the stream for a lot 
little bit more. Um, K. Kden live video editing freedom uh, download. We can do the uh, app image. Oh, am I making the app image? So okay, live app image. Let's go here and let's just make a uh, dot kden live. And then yeah, save it into here. Cool. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. All right. Cool. And close. So let's go to. Uh, yeah. So how do we do this again? Um, control center, main menu, and then graphics. We can do. Oh, sound and video graphic. Which ones makes more sense? Are these like the same thing? No. Oh, graphics is more like images, I guess. Okay. And then sound and video. Okay, I got you. So new item we'll do. Caden live. Command will be the path to Caden live. So dot Caden live. Our list dot Caden live. There you go. Oh yeah, so CD into dot Caden live real quick. Um, oh, CD out of here. Oh, I see the dot Caden live. There you go. Cool. So chmod plus x this thing. So in my high school, I have this old IT person. If they want to fish, the IT person is going to be easy. Lord, <laughs> you guys are all your crazy shit. Uh, so command is going to be dot caden live. Actually, hold on. Let me just uh, dot caden live and then this app image, right? Because that's the executable. So we can just go into control A, control B, and then comment uh, video editor edit OR. Cool. So now Caden Live is there. Oh, I forgot to get the image. Whoops. Uh, here, this is what we do. Uh, we'll just keep B. Cool. So Caden Live uh, logo PNG. We just need this one right here. So we can save image as Caden uh, Live. We can go to Blue Cosmo. And then, uh, nope, just go to Blue Cosmo. And then KD and Live should be here somewhere. There it is. Uh, I lost it. Nope. Where is it? There it is. Cool. So, and then save it in here. Cool. So now what we can do is by going back to the menus, we can just go here, properties, select home, KD and Live, and then the image. And then close. Cool. So now what we can do is when open here, KDN live. I did not even mean to open it. Nope. Just nope. You can, nope. Stop. 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 Close. All right. <laughs> what I meant to do was, oh my gosh, KDN. There you go. And then pin to favorites. Yeah. Cool. Just like that. Um, is there anything else I need to do? I'm just going to start from the top. So we did all of the important installation stuff. Um, we created those. We did all that stuff. Um, windows. We did that. We did that. We did that. We did our favorites menu. We did the panels. Um, bottom panel uh, it looks like that's about it I'm just going to see if my um, Kaja right here yeah delete so like with things like the music they can go in media um, yeah I'll download I'll do the file system real quick um, software 
So yeah, pictures that goes in our media folder. Um, I don't use documents folders, so I'll delete that. Desktop and status of cybersecurity downloads. Here, I'll do like this so that you guys can actually see it better. Um, so Cosmo, do you use Parrot? Uh, then Windows, yeah. So for the longest time, I've only used Parrot. Like Parrot was just like my main bare bones metal. Um, the only reason why I made a dual boot is so that way I could more easily test around Hack 5 gear because virtual machines, you have to do a lot of configuring with the USB stuff. Um, is this custom or are you making? Um, I am, I've been, I spent the past hour making it look like this. Yeah. Yo, yo, what's up? Uh, so there's a videos, All right, videos can go into uh, media. So anything else I want, public, I'll just leave those. Oh yeah, everything else is good. So with these, I'm gonna have to delete a lot of these. So documents, yeah, I know. So we can, all right. How do you, why am I not allowed to delete those? I think they'll just disappear after a while, so that's fine. So with the bookmarks, we'll add our, um, so Cthulhu has to be at the top, um, because that's the server. Uh, so we have cybersecurity, and then I'll get malware into here as well. Cybersecurity, malware, and then, um, isn't there like the software and then hack five on the workflow? Yeah. So we're software QRS. Phase. Um, software and then hardware and then the workflow. And then I'll just do stuff like CTF and hack five down here. So, so CTF and then our hack five directory, which is in hardware, I think. Yeah, hack five. Um, nope, undo that. <laughs> Bring it down, there you go, high five, there you go. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit more neatly organized. Uh, anything else? Um, yeah, so we can clear this. I'm gonna fix this because that top bar looks weird. I mean, I'm just doing little things now. Um, so how do you do this? Preferences, yeah. Oh yeah, let me make my uh, Terminator profiles so you guys can see how I do them. Um, all right, yeah, so with the bar at the top, I don't like how that looks. Um, yeah, so the inactive is fine because that looks kind of tight. Um, but with everything else, I don't like that. So we can make that black and then we can make this black. Uh, yeah, there you go. So that's like the black and green look. Pretty swell, pretty swell. Um, oh, wait, hold up. Why did it change? Actually, we can keep that pink if we want to. Yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, might look kind of cool. Oh, whoops. No. Whoops. Whoops. That Was that enabled before? I have no idea. I'll just enable it. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't. Do you still have the Saints Projects as you said you had a backup? Um, so the Saint Project, um, way I have the outputs saved. Like I have the files that we've been generating saved. Uh, in a, like a shared drive, but I don't have the code that made it. Uh, congrats on your graduation. Uh, appreciate it, appreciate it. Enjoy these years while you can. I will. Uh, I actually need to make a video about talking about like the future of the channel now that I've graduated and stuff. Um, so what we can do is we can actually make some new layouts. Um, Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Remove. I don't care about the layouts. Profiles. Um, yeah, I need to make new profiles. Uh, I actually need to uh, open up Sidian up. Yeah, there you go. And then I'll just control F for uh, 
Terminator. Oh, I have separate build files for that, don't I? Yeah. Uh, where's um, Terminator? I swear I had the Terminator build somewhere. Terminator. Where did I have Terminator saved? Here. Um, I probably missed it. Terminator. And then Parrot Bill. Bro, what? How did I know how to customize all this stuff? Um, oh, there it is. Terminator. Wow, I'm blind. Uh, I'm really blind. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Terminator's right there. <laughs> um, so how did I customize the uh, profile? So that's my dark profile, yeah. Cool, so let's try to customize this. Um, how do we have it? So yeah, okay. I just kind of want to explore some of the new ones, right, use this to font. So this is going to be mono space bold and then the font is going to be 22. So that way you guys can see it. Back, welcome back, sister. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, command, uh, no, really mind. So the scrolling needs to be infinite scroll back and then the colors. Yeah. Oh, general, what this is, I beam and then color foreground, true, cool. <coughs> colors. So built-in schemes is custom. Oh, I see what I did. Yeah, okay. So custom, and then we can have like the nice terminal green on the black. And then there's like those other colors and stuff too. Um, oh, yeah, this is going to be like, like a more light mode, right? Didn't I make like, oh, I made the black version. That's what I did, yeah. So Grubbuck's dark. And then we made both of these custom, so we can change this to, I honestly don't remember what the blue looked like. Is this it? Select. And then, uh, what the heck is going on? All right, and then, <laughs> there you go, select. Cool. Stop. What is you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. That was mad annoying. <laughs> uh, the background just needs to be the solid color of black, right? This is just dark. Um, for me, collecting all the heck five gear over the years has been an addiction. What are your thoughts on it? Um, I have a PHP exam tomorrow, so y'all have a good one. I'm a tip. All right, see you, sister. So with Hack5 gear, uh, I honestly love a lot of the Hack5 gear. I know when the Wi-Fi pineapple first came out, there was a lot of controversy over it, but with their new firmware update, um, it seems like they fixed a lot of those issues. Um, but overall, I love Hack5 gear, especially as like, excuse me especially like the um things like the usb rubber ducky and bash bunny are my personal favorites um it makes a lot of like the malware automation a little bit more easy and things like that and i think that's personally really cool especially just like how like they kind of like futurize hacking um and make it fun for a lot of people it makes it easy too because of like uh, things like ducky script is easy to learn and it's kind of like a good entry point for a lot of people to enter the hacking space so that's one of my main reasons for liking it a lot. Um, but yeah, I love Hack5. I love their gear. I love them. Um, I do personally know Darren, and he's honestly one of the greatest people, down-to-earth people I've ever met in my life. Um, so yeah, love Hack5. Automation? Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scrubbuck 
scrolling, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, scrolling. I don't want the scroll bar to be shown. That annoys the heck out of me. There you go. Um, but yeah, that should be the same. Cool. So if we were to change the profile to dark, it's just the black screen. Gotcha. And then we can have our default one, which is like the translucent. Um, there you go. Um, anything else that I need to do with this? I already did plume up before. Um, here, hashtag area, hashtag build. So Adam, we don't really use Adam anymore. Bash aliases, we have those. Brave, we don't use that anymore. DGR. I want to show you guys DDGR. You guys are actually looking to this. It like allows me to like search in my terminal um, and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I can like choose specific ones. I can open like one and three, for example. And then you guys can see over here, it opened up one. I think it's going to open up three in a second. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll make a video on it. Um, I used to check out those O.M.G cables. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try to buy one. Um, the only thing is I think they're going to send me one. I don't know because they said they're going to send me something. So I don't know what it is. I didn't want to buy one and then get one for free. So I was going to wait. Um, but I don't know what they're sending. So I'm going to just sit in here. Uh, all right. Is that is that it? I think that's it. Um, oh, can we do the military time real quick? <laughs> How do you do uh, the military time? Time and date manager. Uh, oh, is that already in military time? Oh, no, that's... The time is wrong. Hold up. I even... Yeah, let's do the sync. Unlock. I just realized it says it's 9.51. It's like 4. <laughs> Let's turn that on. Let's see if that does its stuff. Make Domino a robot. Uh, so there's the robot. Hold up. So there is like, I forgot the camera's inverted. Yeah, there's uh, Rubik's and then Domino. I was thinking of doing some videos with Rubik's, but like, I know what I would do. You know what I mean? Like he's like a robot and he can program him to do stuff. But I mean like hacking related, like I could probably put like a, Wi-Fi pineapple on his back and then just like drive him into some like room or some shit. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> or just like cut open Domino and put Rubik's in as a skeleton or something. That'd be creepy as heck. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Let me go back. All right, cool. So the time fix itself. Cool. Uh, we can lock and close. Uh, I'm just making sure I don't have anything else I need to do. Um, yeah, I've done these streams like plenty of times. So, um, if you guys want to see, like literally, um, I need to redo my bookmarks because you guys can see I lost everything and I did do a stream. Hold on, exclamation point, YT, Cosmodium, CS. Yeah, so right now I still need to get my old thumbnail back for streaming. I lost that too. I lost everything. Um. Yeah, you can see this is already an actual video and now I have like this. Oh Lord, I need to redo everything. Yeah, but um, you guys can see right here, I did a stream already for all my bookmarks and everything. So now I have to just to redo that. Um, yeah, super fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and there was the, I already showed that in the beginning of the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think we're good on that. Uh, you guys can probably catch me chilling in Discord and stuff. Um, oh yeah, this is just running all this stuffs. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is like the third time I've had to do this on the channel, not including the showcase and me installing it. Um, but yeah, happy you guys enjoy the content. You guys can catch me in Discord probably uh, after the stream. And yeah, stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking. Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. 
um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this check out the link in the description it's only one dollar so we definitely appreciate your guys support um, anyway enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking